Don't be chicken, it's great TV time, and we've got a little trick to make your sticks uh, that much better. Fire it up! <laughs> It's the weird beards. <laughs> I gotta shave. You got, a long, way, you got a long way to go before you get as weird as the one I'm wearing, yeah, brother. Yeah, that's true. What do people say? Do they ever say anything? Generally, chicks dig me. Uh, guys are a little standoffish <laughs> about it. They really don't understand me. How do that's we, okay. Are these twist off? They're twist off. Men don't. Guys in the birthplace of American barbecue and beer. In the Mount Pleasant uh, area here of South Carolina, where it all started. Uh, this is great TV. Jack Wayboy's here, three time South Carolina State that's champion. Me. And uh, Carolina Pitmasters, which is coming up. Actually, Carolina Pitmasters will probably be done by the time we do this, but it's possible. It's uh, March 9th and 10th, 2012, in the beautiful city of Somerville, South Carolina. We're going to do all four competition meets plus whole hog. going to be a wonderful time. I cook around the can't be beat. Um, we've got some chicken here. I got a letter asking you about chicken. Really? And is there a way to make a chicken drumstick any better than it already is for cooking? Because it is pretty convenient because it's got the built-in handle. So I was flipping through Cook's Illustrated, and I saw on there a little trick to make it better. And I, we talked about this before, but so you got some drumsticks. I'll let you do one. Drumsticks. What are we going to do? The We're going to make with, uh, chicken balls on them or whatever they call it. Well, the one thing they said with, with drumsticks is that they've got these tendons in there. And they I do. really notice them with, I never, when it's really cooked well with me, I don't notice it as much, but when it's uh, a turkey, turkey drumstick, drum leg, Whoa. I really notice it. Yep. Um, but I still love them. But what we'll do is we'll go in there and trim that little leg. Yeah, basically what we're doing is we're gonna tendon. we're gonna French the chick the chicken leg is what we're gonna do. Sounds uh, naughty. There's <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You take one. Oh, by the way, there's the Yoshi Blade that we talked about in a previous episode. Yoshi Blade! I think we had Which, some kind of a uh, comment about a cartoon or something when they did we not. Yeah. It would be a good cartoon, Yoshi Blade. So um, basically what we do is you go ahead and, you know, just kind of get yourself a good starting spot. Cut yourself open. Not yourself, but your chicken. Yeah. Probably a better idea. And then you can even see. And yeah. you expose these tendons, and you can see them down in there. They're all kind of hanging out right now. See them? Looks like a... And sometimes, Shoelace. yeah. Sometimes you can grab them with your thumb and get them out of there. Not really all that prevalent with uh, gloves on, but I like to take a pair of needle nose pliers, a regular pair of pliers, and just go ahead and pull them out. Just make sure they're clean pliers. Yeah. Make sure you have food food grade pliers, and they all kind of come out of there. And they what's going to happen is it was kind of it's kind of tough to get these out. There. It's it's work to do this project right here. I won't you got to love you. your guests. Yeah, they're not going to just draw up on their own without those. With, you got to get those tendons out of there. Um, and they'll draw up into a ball on the end of the stick, and uh, then you just go ahead and dunk the end into the, into the um, sauce, and it makes a real good uh, uh, presentation. It's a fun presentation, and it's a it's a different way to serve a chicken leg. But it does take some time to pull all those little tendons out of there. And once you pull all the little tendons out of there, what's going to happen is as the heat as the heat hits the chicken leg, and the moisture jumps out of the chicken leg. All this will all draw up on the end, and you'll have a ball of chicken on the end that looks like that. I did one of these beforehand. There you go. Look at that. And it does. It balls up a it little balls bit. Balls up, and then you got the you got the handle down here to hold it with, and all the chickens up at the end, and it looks marvelous. This is what kind of what you end up with. I'd do it. It's a good time. It's, uh, and it makes it a little bit easier for your guests to eat. Makes it a little easier to handle, easier to hold on to. Like I said, just dip those into sauce. And, and uh, you know, if you got a little chicken hanger or something like that, they sell a, a gizmo that you can hang a chicken leg on. We'll have to get one of those for the show. Um, it looks, it's, a great, it's a great idea, great presentation. I like it. Chicken, uh, little chicken tip there. Yeah, Let's get to some time. great play photos. Would you hand me that iPad over there I with sure your non chicken well, finger? Just a minute. I hate to get this is chicken what I bacteria on the surface of the iPad. Yeah, the iPad is important to our um, overall performance here. We really enjoy the Apple company. 
and think that the Apple company should probably Feature look us kindly on, upon us on iTunes. Um, great play today coming from, or actually we got a couple, uh, Jason Holling. Uh, he says, these are some ribs I did on the gas grill with a small cast iron smoke box. Cool. Look at that. It looks great. Those big, sl actually four big slabs they of They look ribs. wonderful, too. Um, that's what we need. Just some more pictures of food like that. Or if you're at the restaurant and you got your iPhone with you, take a quick little picture. Like, uh, actually, he, this guy did a, Arthur did a bunch of pictures, almost a little montage. Uh, O'Fallon, Missouri. He did this stuff on the Weber Smoky Mountain uh, cooker with pecan wood smoke. Doesn't that look good? Coming from Arthur Aguirre. He says, I'm a new fan of the show. Here's my first smoked We're brisket. We're happy to have you. Brisket packer, which is what, the whole thing? That's the whole brisket, brisket packer, yeah. I smoked this bad boy over the weekend for 17 hours until tender. I hope to see this on your great plate bit. There it is. There's the great plate bit, and there is your packer brisket looking sweet. And right actually, there. Arthur uh, included his website, majorleaguegrilling.com, so go visit them. We like uh, to include others, too. Did you see this one picture, the, the hanging bacon grill? I did see that. Thanks, Tom Kidwell. Uh, he, he loves the show. He said, great show. Oh, his quick question, bacon or brisket, fat side up or down? I think we talked about that in episode one or two. Yeah, <laughs> fat side up or down is the major um, question that goes on. Actually, it's actually fat up or down in just about any kind of meat that we cook. And the answer is use the fat as a shield to where your heat is coming from. If your cooker is heating from the bottom up, then put your fat down. If your smoke is rolling like in a Weber Smoky Mountain coming up from the bottom, hitting the lid and then coming back down, use your fat cap up so that you shield the meat against that nasty dry heat coming down from the top of that lid. And that's just a rule of thumb and a good one too, by the way. We use it uh, every chance we get. Get questions, comments, things you want to ask us, send them to us, greattv.com. It's jack at greattv.com or bill at greattv.com. And uh, we'll be back in about a week. So yeah, make sure you like this website. Make sure you like us every chance you get. Get over to the Facebook page and uh, say hello. We really enjoy that. And the new thing out now, Bill, is Pinterest. So, uh, you know, hey, I've been... Uh, have you done that? I've been taking some... Uh, I'm experimenting with it right now, getting better at it. You have to go to the Lifeline, I believe it's called, to uh, get Pinterest on Facebook. But I've been pulling great plates and pinning them up on what they call, what I call, Big John T's Barbecue Page. And uh, that's been a lot of fun to work with. Uh, Big John T's? Big John T's Barbecue Page. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I just... My, my first name is John and my middle name is Thomas and... My mother calls me John T, so I decided to call it Big John T's Barbecue Page in honor of my mother. Thank you very much. So go and follow our pins. Follow and the pins and watch what we're doing. And I'm all the time out surfing on the web and trying to find good stuff to put on my pages. And certainly uh, photos is a great opportunity. We really like to see photos of food and cookers here at Great TV. Uh, more to come back next week. <clears throat> Hey gang, uh, buy local, think global, stay sustainable, and certainly every chance you get. Okay.